Yep, back out. <laughs> Which is embarrassing. And this time, totally changed. We're in the woods with. Get out and do it a while, Campman. You know it makes sense. You do. Just something a little bit different. Just something a little bit different. Because I knew it made sense. So, been a long time, been over a year since we've been out, haven't it? I think it's about a year coming up. Since we did that camp in the, when we were ground dwelling. And it's been about two years since I've been to Harwood, and I think I'm about two years since I've camped here. Aye. And this is one of the locations where I've, I've had quite a bit of activity. Well, I found a footprint. Well, I found a footprint. You found a footprint, that's enough for me, like. I see strange sticks being stuck in there. Aye, I... they're weird, aren't they? That's Blair Witch Project stuff, that. This is, that's part of your camp, actually. And that, Look at that. Just stuck them in. It's to propel you across the other side, isn't it? You leap on it and propel over. I think it's to try to like make a screen there. I don't know. I could see kids messing about. We're on the hunt tonight for things. We've come to the creepy forest of terror. It's creepy forest of doom. And uh, we're gonna on the hunt for stuff. We've got we've got night vision. We've got a uh, beer. We're looking for the. We're looking for the elusive wild man of Harwood Forest. I think he's I think he's already here. There's two wild men here already, but we're looking for two. We're looking for more elusive wild men. And panthers. This is any panthers. But yeah, so it's hammocks between the trees. Get that set up, and that's it really. Get on with things. What was that? What was that? Just walked across the screen. <laughs> set up. Before anybody criticises, right, I don't claim to be the greatest hammock and tarp setter upper. It's over us, it keeps us dry, and I can lie in it. That's all I'm bothered about. The low light in here is not good. Right, it's still, it's only uh, 15 or 7. This is just perfect. There's Damien, ground dwelling. Totally sold on the idea of using, you know, bungees. Yeah. But in the past, I've, I've shy away from using because of the extra weight. I'm trying to be too minimal for my own good. Mm -hmm. But when I'm messing around with like little bags of cordage, it's like a nightmare. Right. Oh, you know, spaghetti. And it's, it's something you just want something quick and easy. Oh, I always use cord uh, bungees now. I just, if I can. Nah, definitely a good idea. Maybe not from the pound shop. Got a bag full of them for a quid. <laughs> it's usually late summer. They'll start selling up for camping gear, do it cheap. Oh, aye, that's when I'm going to get my plates and my cups. We'll go to the night. You get midgey nets, you get spokes, you get all sorts. People think I'll like, spend the fortune on gear, you know. I'll go into the pound shop and get a top. Yeah. Well, obviously, when it's for like, a decent shelter, you've got to pay up the money from, you, for some you pay, You pay for the things that you, you need. But like cups and plates, I'll just pay 50 pence if I can, if I can get away with it. And I go to the B&M sale, they're always flogging off gear. Get cheap gas at the end of the season. 150 at Talis, if you use Aye. Um, the beauty in the, the propane. I've got, a, I've got a propane one, is for that jet boil. Butane's the one you're using, like heaters and cook, the cookers, the little cookers, isn't it? Yes. And look like aerosol cans. No. Uh, ones for very low temperatures. Yeah. In the Some of them are extreme, eh? We've got a water sauce. So you get doing it without breaking your neck. It smells a bit uh, funky. That's it. Smashing little spot like middle of nowhere. Damien's already gave away the location like <laughs> the, forest the forest of doom. The forest of doom and terror. Yeah. And certain death. Not for the faint hearted. No, it's really not. But I we're just waiting for uh waiting for the beer to start opening. I'm waiting for the beer and Bigfoot. That's quite a bit of beer. 
all about the views as well. Not the views on the channel. Stuff. Oof. I've already got a bad head, just looking at that. I'm chatting for a drink actually. I may just have one now. All right, Damien's away, taking some um, some photographs of the channel, the way the trees run. They run like in real like straight rows. I don't think it's a man-made forest, this. But it's mad how they all grow so straight. Look at the size of that one, that's a big one. That's been here a long time. Let's have a little wander around. A little wander. Water source. I think I've already mentioned this. Yeah, okay. I'm over. Little waterfall here. It's peaty, but drinkable. If you filter it, or you boil it, you don't always need a filter. I don't like the sheep around here, like so. I might be the odd dead body of people up there. But you know, there, look at the way the trees go. Look how straight they are. It must be man made because they've been felled previously. You can see where they've been felled and then they, re then they replant them. But that must have been years ago. These are, these are good 30, 40 years old, these trees. They're huge. Look at this one. This one's got a tree growing out of it. That's mad. How bizarre is that? Ah, oh, that's really weird. <laughs> that's where it's joined on. That is peculiar. It's not normal. It's the camp over there. Mr. Stoker, if you're watching, you're missing out. Mr. Stoker was going to come. That would have been a good uh, good threesome, but it was very poorly. We reckon uh, we reckon he was just scared, scared of Bigfoots and ghosts and paranormal. No wrong with him. But I've heard from him that he's recovered. It wasn't COVID. He just had the, the deli bellies and the shivers. See, like they go channels here. It's bizarre, isn't it? It's a great place, this. It's a little bit damp in that, but still. There's no midges, that's the main thing. Yet, the wind's dying off. That's the only problem. Oh, I'm sniffing again. I'm under there. Damien's in his snug pack. Eh? All in all, it's a good little spot. I'm gonna wait till um, about seven o'clock, have something to eat. I've just got a uh, wayfarer's meal. Oosh! Just boiling the bag thing. Just gonna have that. Not really hungry. Had a big breakfast. So, that's, that's sitting heavy. I love the forest, you know, I love the trees. I really do.
This is called finger fungus. For very obvious reasons. The sun's trying to taught us to come out. I don't think there's any rain forecast. I think it's meant to be dry from now. Oop. Watch out for giant holes. I'm just heading back to the camp now. Get another beer on. Have a bait soon. And then we'll go about searching for the elusive big feet. Yetis, you know. Not Chivia yet, it's well, maybe it's Chivia yet, it's. But with Damien, the expert Bigfoot knocker upper, we may come across anything panthers, lions, you name it. Look at how bright it is now. That's mad when that sun comes through them trees. I like it here. I like it. B-roll is this. Because <laughs> see, that's the thing. When your camera I can and your camcorder will be the same, it'll have like more than one. No, oh, sorry, I don't know. No, it's alright. I'll be just like like because if yours is out like mine, it's got like the five surrounds, five speakers on the top. So it has a rear speaker, so when you're talking into it, it'll be crystal clear. That's all we need, isn't it? Trees are the natural coat hangers of the forest. Right, so we're having a bait anyway. I'm gonna have uh, a beef goulash wayfarer's meal with water procured uh, from the stream. I don't need to use my water supply for that. Um, I found a, a bushcraft comb. That's good for combing your hair. It actually is quite good. This is a nice job. There's a few ticks in it and creatures that shampoo them out in the morning. Damien's just uh, setting up some stuff. What I'm doing is I'm going to set up a, um, I'm going to do a few wood knocks. I don't know when. I'm going to set up a multi camera angle on the angle shot. Wood knocks. Yeah, I'm going to do like a bit of a. Something like that. Oop. I'm going to try, I'm going to audio record that and I'm going to just try and see if we get some uh, a response. Yeah. In this spooky forest of food. I think well, we will get a response in this spooky forest of terror. Definitely. Yeah. I'm just going to put all over that. Just get everything to it. Break, break his neck in the process. Zoom H6. Oh, yes. That's the boy. Yeah. With the uh, Jackson 5 haircut on the top now. <laughs> Oh! I can't do it. I'm, I'm, I'm the same, I. My voice broke last week. You know? I think mine, mine. Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! 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 Can't do it like like Ow. we used to when we were young. Ow. You were really high pitched. Last week I was 80, and this week I'm 52. Oh, that's it. We're actually Ow. grown up. It just seems we've grown up. Get old right quick in this place. Flipping here we do. I've aged 10 years since I come here. 
with all the horrors and terrors. But I anyway, oh so we'll do a bit knocking. We'll do a bit of night night vision photography video. I've brought me um I've brought me that does night vision. And I've got a uh, a little torch which enhances the night vision. So that there, uh, if you've got night vision on your camera. Oh my god. It's all gone wrong. Oh, that's, ah, that's not in the script. Ow! Ow! I've actually turned it off. It's not going to. <laughs> Turn it down to a little simmer. Top tip, right, is learn which way that turns to turn it up and turn it down. And again, it will burn hands. Yeah, so I've got a night vision infrared torch. It's infrared for the, um, it did not make a difference on the night vision. So you've got like, you've got like a little area here, like a little circle here. But if you use the torch, it's a massive area. So I'm going to set that up later. So if anything comes, through the camp, but we won't know about it until tomorrow. Imagine that. Imagine you, you, you look back at your footage and there's this horrible pair of red eyes and the infrared. Yeah, yeah I'm sure with all this gear, we'll, we will find something like definitely going to make some sightings. I can't believe that done that. Stupid thing. Pretty wayfarers. Should have brought a stake. Here we go. Here we go with these wood knocks. Zoom H6 is recording audio. Just to get it the dark for I want to do a recording for. It's totally dark for Twilight, right? Zoom H6 is running. Um, recording high quality audio. I'm going to do a couple of knocks. What I have to do, Andy, right? It's just be really quiet. Right. I'll just give it a blast, right? I just give it loads of. I'll turn that. Kick. I'll turn that off because it'll the, the hot water will keep it keep it warm. Sometimes, you know, the recorder will pick the hook when I'm listening at home. So, look, okay, I'm trying another one. Try another one. <laughs> Proper scientific method, this Aye. Oh, Voice broke last week, so <laughs> I might take a couple of times. What? That's a that's a whoop. Try another one. Whoop. Whoop. <laughs> oh, we can 
do is we're gonna do some infrared filming. Here we go. Torch on, right? Torch off. Right? Torch on. Really good, isn't it? So we'll, uh, yeah. the Damien is asleep. So we'll just keep this keep this going. Wow. Oh, One cat was hiding out and out. Nothing. Nothing. No. Well, I've woke up. It's 9.15 or something like that. Yeah, I've woke up anyway. Nine. Heard nothing. I think we just got really drunk and uh, fell asleep. So we didn't do any night vision. He's had his recorder out all night, so there might be sounds on that. I have to watch Damien's video for that. Um, and that's about it, really. Oh. Nice to wake up in the woods, nice and peaceful. It's the sound of the pigeons. Giving it some. Oh, I'm gonna get up and have a cup of tea. Cup of tea, folks. Clear up. Clear off. <sighs> nice. ground a mouse. This is what greets us. Right, that's where I was hanging from the trees. I left nothing in the trees. No ropes on out. No trace. Obviously, not going to leave any trace of you. Yeah. Oh. Well, we have a, we've had a really good night. It's um, we didn't know if there's any strange high strangers going on because I can't re can't really remember anything after a certain point. Uh, after the yeah. eighth can. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's been a success, what enough for you? That was the uh, Damien's little ground dwelling. Yeah, leave no trees. Absolutely not. A thing has been left, have not left any in tied in the trees or not. Ooh. A tiny little bit of plastic, Ooh, guys. Hey. Always do a scout around and make sure that you've picked everything up. I normally leave one peg, one ten peg. That happens to me, that. Aye. I've done that in the and the moon of ten pegs are saying. I've, I've always get them, but it's like I've put everything away, and then there's the ten peg. You think, oh man, aye, ah, there's nothing here. Like, where are we? Right, good camp, good crack up until the eighth can. Never can't remember what the crack was. And anybody woke up with a sore backside and a fire in the back pocket? Not even one person. I've got a twenty in my wallet, like, but I think that was there before. Yesterday, <laughs> aye. Actually, I think that's aye, I think that. I'm pretty sure. Oh. I'm pretty sure we went that way when we came in. Oh, we're lost. Six and two, three, we're hopelessly lost. Get out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's just for getting some branches in your face. Right. <laughs>